Hi, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to DCA Sumar. I hope you're doing great. So this video we are going to talk about the web series that I've watched this year so far. I watched three web series that I watched until now and we'll be talking about that. So this video is going to be both whispering and soft spoken. So I hope you enjoy and find it relaxing. Also, if you find any of those web series to be interesting, do check it out on this OTT platforms. Alright, so the first one is going to be Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, which is available in Amazon Prime. So since I'm not really good at reviewing something, I'm going to read out some basic information that I compiled so you can get a gist of the series. Uh, so I'm going to read it out for you. So first let's look at the genre of the series. It comes in the action, drama, political thriller and spy thriller. Action, drama, political thriller, spy thriller. So let's look at Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. A modern take on classic. Clancy's Jack Ryan is a thrilling modern adaptation of the iconic CIA analyst created by the best-selling author. Starring John Krasinski in a title role, the series offers a blend of political intrigue, action-packed sequences, and character-driven storytelling. So he is one of my favorite actors in uh, American web series, uh, John Krasinski. I have also watched his office web series, which he plays um, the role of Jim Halpert. He was one of my uh, favorite characters in the series. Yeah. So, the series excels in portrayal of complexities of international politics. Each season delves into a different global crisis, allowing for a fresh and engaging narrative. From terrorism to geopolitical tensions, the show explores timely and relevant issues without sacrificing entertainment value. Krasinski delivers a compelling performance as Jack Ryan. He comes in the title role of the series. He and along with him, there is one more his friend who also works for the CIA. I don't know his name. Maybe we can find him in the rest of the review. He captures the character's intelligence, integrity, and moral compass. The supporting cast, including Wendell it's Wendell Pierce as James Greer, also delivers strong performances adding depth and nuance to the story uh, the, and the action secrets in Jack Ryan are well executed and visually very impressive while the series is generally well crafted some viewers may find the pacing to be uneven certain episodes can feel slow paced while others are filled with non-stop action additionally the show can sometimes lean heavily on cliches and predictable plot developments. So overall, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan is a solid adaptation of the plot character. It offers thrilling and thought-provoking viewing experiences that will appeal to fans of political thrillers and action adventure series. I was able to gather a lot of information about what happens in CAA, what is an analyst do about the, I'm, I'm not sure if it's entirely correct, but I have I, like I got information a lot of global issues happening around us and I like the action sequences as I mentioned the action sequences are really encouraging and entertaining it's uh, a watchable series if you haven't yet it's available in Amazon Prime to check it out so that was the first one also on a added note, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan is the adaptation of a book by the same name. So you can find multiple publishers like publishing from Tom Clancy's on Jack Ryan series. There are around three three numbers of books, different books available on Jack Ryan from Tom Clancy. Okay, okay. So that was our American web series. So the next one we are going it is a British web series bodies bodies a haunting exploration of grief and loss so bodies is a British anthology series that delves into chilling consequences of untimely deaths each episode 
episode tells a standalone story set in the fictional London morgue, where a new body arrives with a mysterious past. Now let's look at the genre of the series. So it comes under drama, mystery, thriller and science fiction. Created by Paul Tomlin. The main protagonist of this series is Jacob Foju, Shira Haas and Ameka Okafor. So that is the central character of this series. This happens in London. So what, let's look at the rest of the review. It's mostly like uh, A dead body found in Whitechapel. So the story starts with the appearance of a dead body in Long Harvest Lane in the Whitechapel area of London. That's how the plot begins. So Bodies is a British anthology series that delves into chilling consequences of untimely deaths. The series excels in the ability to create a haunting and atmospheric atmosphere. The mock setting with, a, with its cold, sterile environment and constant presence of death is both unsettling and fascinating. The story in bodies are often dark and disturbing, but they are also thought-provoking and emotional resonant. The series explores themes of grief, loss and human desire of immortality. The acting in bodies is consistently strong. The series features a talented, insimilable cast, including Stephen Graham, Sarah Lancashire, and John Sim, who deliver powerful and nuanced performances. While Bodies is a well-crafted series, it's not uh, for the faint of heart. The content can be graphic and disturbing, and some viewers may find the subject matter difficult to handle. I agree with that. I found it difficult to handle the subject so confusing in the beginning I had to rewatch some of the episodes to really uh, get to know what exactly is happening so I had to watch a few of the episodes multiple times and this is not something you can be doing as multitasking you could just do something else and watch the series you could be completely into the series to uh, really understand the subject matter overall bodies is a haunting and thought-provoking series that is well worth watching. Its exploration of grief, loss, and human condition is both compelling and disturbing. So this body is, is uh, I can tell you about the basic plot. The, this is about a dead body found in Long Harvest Lane in the White Chapel area of London. So if the event happens in the same location in four different years, that's 1890, 1941, 2023, and 2053. So we'll be handling both past and future and present. That's why I said the subject matter is a little confusing. So it'll, it's an anthology. It's a non-linear way of storytelling. So you'll be seeing 1890s for the first 10 minutes and directly you'll be going to 2053 in the next uh, rest of this uh, episode so that can be a little confusing for some people so I, I, I was one of them and uh, I had to rewatch some of the episodes this series bodies is available on Netflix platform do check it out if you're interested okay now let's look at the last series we have got which is Mock. Mock is again an American television series and the lead character title character of the Mock is played by Tony Shaloub it's a very old series it was initially released in 2002 so it's like 20 years back but I came to 
series that follows the eccentric and obsessive compulsive detective Adrian Monk played by Tony Shalhoub. Despite his debilitating phobias and anxieties, Monk is a brilliant investigator with the uncanny ability to solve even the most perplexing crimes. One of the show's greatest strengths is its ability to balance humor and drama. Monk's quickly behavior and antics of his loyal assistant However, the series also tackles serious issues such as grief, loss, and challenge of mental illness. So he has many phobias in this series which uh, many people can relate to. Even I am a person who is claustrophobic so I can understand. The series excels in crafting intricate and engaging mysteries. Each episode each episode presents a unique case that challenges Monk's investigation skills and forces him to confront his personal demons. The writer do a great job of keeping viewers guessing until the very end. The writer does a very good job, that is true. Guessing, we keep guessing until the end of the end of each episode. Uh, while Monk is a highly enjoyable series, it's not without its flaws. Some viewers may find the show's repetitive formula to be predictable. Additionally, the series can sometimes relate too heavily on slapsy humor over the top plot devices. Yeah, this is something which I also felt after a, a like a more than 10 15 episodes. I felt that I am able to predict the plot, it becomes too predictable after a season. So, but overall. Monk is a delightful and heartwarming series that is sure to entertain viewers of all ages. Its combination of humor, drama, and mystery makes it must watch for fans of detective shows. So that were the three different series that I watched recently, not recently, uh, during different time frames in the year 2024. I hope you will try to. Okay, again. Monk is available in Netflix. So, if you would like to, you can check it out. And I will do let me know if you like this kind of. Because I've got some. Cool